Pisces. Welcome to our first through the 15th of June tarot reading. I'm Serafina Safi. Um, this is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. And thank you for joining me today. I will be having bi-monthly tarot readings on the first of every month and on the 15th of every month. So please subscribe if you want to see more of that. Hit that little bell icon and you'll be notified when I release a brand new video. And I have a new website that just launched. It's in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a Celtic Cross Tarot reading. We're going to find out a little bit about what's going on with, you present, with us presently, uh, what our biggest fears are, and what's coming towards us, and what ultimately is going to be the outcome the 1st through the 15th of June. I've already cleared and scattered my cards. I don't... Um, I don't shuffle my cards traditionally because some of them are too big and also and also um, I, I don't want to like hurt the cards so so I don't normally do that but um, this is the vintage Oracle and one card for the central theme of the reading for Pisces June 1st through the 15th okay so we have the shadow self so that's getting in touch with your dark side your darker nature um, knowing what makes you tick it's easy to rule over a country it's easy to rule over other people but to rule over ourselves is true power um, in Kabbalah the tree of life is just like the positive energy centers of our body from um, Tipperath to Malkuth, uh, Malkuth to Tipperath. Uh, it's basically lined up with the chakra uh, system, but there's also Quintope Kabbalah, which is the dark side. It's the tree of life reversed and it's your demonic side. And whoever masters their demonic side can master everyone else because if you know how you tick then you know how other people tick so what presently is affecting Pisces what presently is affecting Pisces okay so I have the king of swords and he's in the upright so the king is an authority figure um, this king of swords is specifically like a Gemini or a Libra or Aquarius, but specifically a Gemini. He's a very clear thinking, intellectual um, person. It can be male or female. And he speaks the truth. And crossing that, it was just sitting out. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it was just, it was just like sitting out there waiting for me. Because whenever I, I picked it up, the rest are just, you know, like that. But yeah, this was just sitting out waiting for me. Because this is what's crossing us presently. Presently, we're in this, like, self-enclosed prison. We have the Eight of Swords. And it's in the upright. So, there's <coughs> self-isolation. There's limited beliefs. Um, there Again, this is Gemini. So, we could actually be dealing with a Gemini here. Or just that Gemini energy of someone who's very superficial. It, it could be just a person who's very superficial or very friendly and social and communicative. Or it could be talking about something that is setting the stage for May. Like the, this is May 21st through June the 20th, Gemini. So it could just be talking about that time period and that might not even be of any you know significance or we could actually be talking about Gemini here but yeah we are blind to the past there's something in the past that is affecting the present and we are not wanting to look at it we're in this self-enclosed prison and the king of swords is right there saying hey you need to look at this this is what really happened so what in the past is affecting Pisces present? What in the past is affecting Pisces present? What in the past is affecting Pisces present? Okay, so we have fire energy here. We have the page 
yeah. We have the Page of Wands. It wasn't in the upright and it wasn't in the reverse. It just came out like this. So there was um, some discovery. There was a free spirit. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And it's kind of like setting out on a journey. It's, it's developing a sense of self and learning new things, being enthusiastic. And we're blinded to that. There's like, there's... Um, there's a lot of new growth here in the past and we're just blinded to it and we're only seeing the self-enclosed prison but there's lots of places that we can actually go and explore and travel and we don't have to be in the self-enclosed prison the king the king of swords is keeping us there it's like he's the one who who put us there, but we are choosing to stay there. We're choosing to stay there. He put us there, but we're choosing to stay there because we don't want to look at all of this new growth, all of this um, it, energy from the past. What else in the past is affecting Pisces present? What else in the past is affecting Pisces present? There was heartbreak. So it could have been over an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. There was massive heartbreak. It, it wasn't like just little heartbreak. There was tears. There was loss. There could have even been a death. There was massive, massive amounts of heartbreak here. What is Pisces' biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th. Okay, so not unable to move on. There's a lack of closure. This is a major life event. This is the world reverse. This ends a cycle. This is number 21 of the tarot card, um, uh, the major arcana, but this is in the reverse. So in the reverse, you can't go full cycle. There's a there's a lack of closure, and that's your biggest fear. What does Pisces truly wish for June 1st through the 15th? You truly wish for the chariot in the upright. Um, so you truly wish for willpower, self-control, um, self-discipline, co-creating your own destiny, um, freedom, freedom, the freedom of the chariot. That's what you truly wish for. All my cards just fell. One second. How does Pisces view themselves? the 1st through the 15th of June. How does Pisces view themselves? Ourselves. <laughs> How does Pisces view ourselves? Because I'm a Pisces, Sun, Ascendant, Venus, and Mars. How does Pisces... Oh, we view ourselves as a big happy family, emotionally abundant. Uh, we have it all. We have the happy family. Um, we're in a harmonious marriage or relationship. This is Pisces energy, so we view ourselves as ourselves. So we view ourselves in a really good light. <laughs> um, how are other people viewing us? How are other people viewing us? Other people are viewing us as the wheel of fortune. So they're viewing us as someone who's very lucky, uh, who has very good fortune, who has unexpected results. So they're also viewing us in a good light. And they, they're viewing us as someone who has a major life event and who's going into the future. Okay, what's coming towards us? What's coming towards Pisces? The first 
through the 15th of Jan. What's coming towards Pisces the 1st through the 15th of Jan? It's coming towards Pisces the 1st through the... Okay, so there could be a Taurus or an Aries. A Taurus or an Aries. Um, this is the Emperor. Hold on. Something just happened on my computer screen. Okay, it's still recording, good. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Oh, shoot. Why is it doing that? Okay. So, um, it could, it's the Emperor. It could be a Taurus or an Aries. It's, um, the uh, fatherhood, organization, a leader, a strong, powerful leader, a provider. He's, he's very stable. So somebody very stable, somebody who's organized, somebody who's rational. And uh, Aries, because of the ram's head, and because it's number four, which stands for April as well, and it also has that fire energy all throughout the card. Um, or sometimes it could be Taurus. So there could be an, there's an Aries coming towards us. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Pisces? What's the outcome for us? What's the outcome for us? Okay, I see that we have lots and lots of options. We're in a, like a fantasy land. There's disillusionment here. We have too many options. We don't know where to go. We have the seven of cups. So we're still in our element. So in the outcome, we're still in our element. Um, there's just fantasy illusion, wishful thinking, choices there's this is scorpio energy so scorpio could potentially be coming towards this is somebody who's very magnetic powerful passionate um intense and also it corresponds with the death card in the major arcana so there is definitely an ending of something so new beginnings can happen so that puts our fears to rest like we are afraid that we wouldn't be able to do that but we are totally totally doing that and that's in the outcome so we have a fantastic outcome that's the outcome that I want um, I also see that we're working really hard that was just sitting there um, so we're working really hard with the three of pentacles in um, also the so we have <coughs> We have three twice here. Um, there could be a Capricorn coming towards us. Yeah, there could be a Capricorn coming towards us. Any other ad advice for Pisces? The 1st through the 15th of June. Um, so the the other advice is we're still kind of developing a sense of self here it's the page it's the page of cups in the reverse so that's our energy that's water energy so we're developing a sense of self and there could be a message with creative new beginnings but there's also emotional insecurity here and some creative blocks that we need to just surpass how do we surpass these creative blocks by just getting her done just get her done uh this is the ace of wands so this is inspiration power creation it's just going to come to us go out exercise get out there and it'll come to you uh so be out in nature yeah and there could be a union of some sort you just need to surrender to the new beginnings. There's new beginnings. And it's a union. Once you master your shadow self, there's new beginnings, there's a union, and you just need to surrender to it. And let the metamorphosis happen, let the change happen, because it's a beautiful thing. And they're brand new beginnings. So this is wonderful. We have tons of like good things coming towards us. We just need to get out of our fantasy land and allow creativity to flourish by tackling our shadow selves. Because we have 
immense amounts of opportunity here. Well, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, um, thank you for watching and joining me. Um, I'm Serafina Safi, and this is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more bi-monthly tarot videos. Also, launch of new website in the description box below. Also, comment. Let me know what you'd like to see from the channel. Um, if this resonated, you know, any, any type of feedback that you'd like to give me, I would love to hear that. Please comment below. And if you like this, just um, please like. Have a wonderful day.